All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Canto Wad. So, medyo iba yung setup na natin ngayon. So, yun, i-maximize ko na yung usage ng mic and ng bagong camera natin. For our Canto Wad, medyo mag-iiba rin yung setup natin. So, yun, yung Canto Wad ko is naging home workout muna. Um, I decided na instead of recording one workout per week, giging three workouts in a week na siya. Most of my movements is body weight, uh, minimal equipment. Minimal equipment means it's just body weight movements or dumbbell fitness band, kettlebell or yon, yung mga basic movements na pwede mong store sa ano, sa bahay. So wala mo nang barbells. Equipment sa bahay like chairs or yon, mostly body weight lang. So, I want to share this program kasi yon, ito lang yung mga pwede nating gawin within the vicinity of your home. So talaga sa loob lang siya ng kwarto. So if you have a small space, um, this is good program for you since hindi naman kailangan na masyadong uh, marami equipment and hindi rin masyadong kailangan gumalaw. So yon, as long as meron kang place paglagyan ng yoga mat, yon, okay na yung area na yun. Another thing is with this program, hindi naman din lahat is may access sa uh, dumbbells. Some of the movements is kailangan talaga ng weight. Kung wala tayong equipment sa bahay, pwede natin gamitin is a uh, water bottle or kahit yung bag. Yeah, I'm still going to upload some of the group workouts ng Kanto Wod. Yun talagang every Friday na workouts namin soon. If maka-resume na rin kami. Pero as of now, limited pa yung mga workouts namin outside. Yung maski sa labas lang ng bahay. Alright, so here's the video guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are interested on this kind of content. For now, I'm going to upload this kind of workouts every Monday or maybe every Sunday. Depende kung ano. Basta yun. Every start ng week para naman um, pwede nyo siyang gawin during the start of the week. Going to be three workouts always. So, pwede maging four pero yon Sobrang dali lang siguro nung magiging fourth workout. Ayun. Okay? So, this is our beginner's workout with minimal equipment part one. I hope you enjoyed the video and here it is. Okay, so upon checking habang ini-edit ko tong video na to, napansin ko na medyo tight pala yung hamstrings ko kaya nagbe-bend yung legs ko as I lean forward. For the Romanian deadlift kasi, yung other term niya is stiff leg deadlift. So dapat medyo stiff yung legs natin. So if you can do this na medyo mas straighter yung legs ninyo without breaking your posture or hindi nagka-curve yung likod ninyo, that's much better. So, yun yung goal natin dito. Keep your balance on one leg while reaching the floor. Crunchy, crunchy, potato chips, crunch, 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 crunch,
for the one and one fourth goblet squats kung wala kayong dumbbell you can use a water bottle or kahit na backpack or any weighted material na stable siya pag hahawakan ninyo or you will have a fine grip that's fine pero kung wala talagang option you can just do this on a body weight movement which is the one and one fourth air squat so yon may extra pump lang naman siya after doing a full squat Okay, for the Bulgarian split squats, medyo technical tong movement na to it, because it requires a lot of balance. So, for beginners, ang pwede nyong i-substitute dito or yung scaling option nito will be the regular split squat. So, almost the same movement lang pero hindi lang elevated yung back leg natin. Or, you can do regular lunges.
So another technical movement is the feet elevated push up. So yon, kung hindi natin kaya yung feet elevated push ups, you can switch it to regular push ups or yung kneeling push ups. For the dumbbell rows and kneeling bicep curls, kung wala tayong dumbbells, you can switch it to backpack or kahit water bottles. Alright, so for the day 3, medyo maganda yung day 3 natin kasi it's going to be a high intensity workout with an interval or rest. Then yun, kasama ko na rin si Missy. So finally, na-encourage ko na rin siyang makapag-workout ulit. And yun, ang kinagandahan na itong part na to is makikita nyo yung difference between the adjusted movement and the recommended movement. So yun, since um, nandun pa lang siya sa beginning stage, ng pag-workout so most of the movements na gagawin niya is yung uh, for beginners so yon so makikita natin yung difference between my movements and hers kaya kung saan or kung ano yung mas preferred yung movement doon na lang kayo mag-stick muna
Alright guys, that's the three workouts for this week. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.